Hi, welcome to Meals with Maria. Today I have cozy crockpot meals for you. A cozy blanket. When I, I had a cozy blanket on, that's right. Fall is coming, crockpot season is a, upon us. Kids are getting back in school and I know you're looking for some new crockpot recipes. Well, I was too and I found them. These are three recipes that I've never made before and I was so excited. They were so delicious and I'm excited it's to share. A, it's Rowan's birthday today. We're going to a birthday party today. It's very exciting. and. We are so excited to share them with you. They were absolutely fabulous. This video is in collaboration with my friend Tiffany over at Small Town Six. She's also creating some lovely cozy meals for you. Go ahead and click on her video down in the description box at the end of this video so you can check out what she has as well. It's gonna be great. Tiffany is an amazing mom of four. She shares grocery hauls and wonderful meal ideas and I know that you will love her, so do not forget to do that. In the meantime, let's look at my fabulous crock pot meals that are super cozy and new for the fall. We're gonna start off with some ground beef enchiladas and I'm gonna cut up one onion and one red pepper. Both these additions are delicious, but if you don't have them on hand, you can always use about a tablespoon of onion powder and completely omit the red pepper if you don't have it. I'm using one pound of ground beef and you'll notice that I am not browning this before I put it in my crock pot. Most recipes I see, you have to brown the ground beef before you cook it. And in this case, you can put it right in there, which makes me very, very happy. Then I have one 15 ounce can of tomato sauce and two cubes of chicken bouillon. I've grabbed about a tablespoon of tomato paste right out of my freezer, pop that in, and then I have two drained and rinsed cans of kidney beans. For spices, add three teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of ground cumin, one teaspoon of dried oregano, and a half a teaspoon of chili powder. Give it a good mix, and then you can cook this for eight hours on low or four hours on high. This mixture on its own was good enough to eat as it was, or maybe even just like with some chips and sour cream. But to make it even better, we're going to add some sliced up tortillas. So I have about 10 smaller soft shell tortillas, flour tortillas, and I slice those into strips. You wanna place those right into your crock pot and mix them around really well into your mixture. And then you can top that with one to two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese. I also think that cheddar cheese would be great here too. So whatever your choice is, I did do it with the mozzarella and it was wonderful. And then you put the cover on and you wanna cook this for another 30 minutes on high until your cheese is melted. Alternatively, you can actually pop it into a hot oven for about 10 minutes. My mouth is watering and just watching this. I can't wait to make it again. It turned out so cheesy and ooey gooey and delicious. I just topped kind of on the side here for garnish some chopped up red peppers and scallions. And then I topped the whole thing with some chopped cilantro. If you had dried cilantro, you could use that as well. None of these things are absolutely necessary because this is still gonna taste awesome with or without it. I just served ours with some corn on the side and a little bit of sour cream, but holy moly, this was so good. Everybody was raving about it. It was an absolute winner. Ben was also a fan as usual. He's such a good eater and he, he really devoured this. For this next recipe, we're gonna make a chipotle beef, and this is so good too. You want about a quarter cup of orange juice and a quarter cup of lime juice. And then I use an entire can of whole chipotle peppers and adobo because I wasn't exactly sure I got this recipe from TikTok. If I was gonna do it again, I'd probably use like a quarter can because it was pretty spicy, but it was still pretty good. And then one teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons of cider vinegar, a quarter cup of brown sugar, then one diced onion and six diced cloves of garlic. And you could use a tablespoon of garlic powder here or onion powder as well if you don't have fresh. Just wanna give that a good stir and then place your chuck roast in there. Mine was probably three or four pounds. 
And then you want to marinate this for two hours to 24 hours. So as much time as you have. I just did mine for a couple of hours. And I think because those adobos were in there and they were so spicy, uh, everything tasted really good. There was a lot of flavor. So no worries if you can't marinate it for that long. You do want to cook this one on low for eight to 10 hours. And it is like fall off the bone, even though there's no bone, but it is so juicy, so delicious, so flavorful. I just serve mine with some green beans, but you could easily serve this over mashed potatoes or make it a taco. You can totally make a taco out of this, put it in a corn or flour tortilla, a little bit of cilantro, some sour cream, salsa, and you're gonna be all set. It is absolutely phenomenal. Just something different than I've done in the past because I've done, you know, like the Italian roast before and uh, just like a regular pot roast. And I just wanna try something different. So it was just a great new option for me to try. And it's definitely something that we will make again. I was so excited to try this recipe because we're using Knorr pasta sides and you're going to use two bags of the broccoli cheddar. And I love using stuff like this because it's such a convenience item, like something that you have in your uh, pantry perhaps. And maybe you're like, how am I going to use this in the future? Or just something you can grab for really, really cheap and you can make a whole meal out of it. So you want to add those two bags into your crock pot followed by one can of condensed cream of chicken soup, another favorite convenience item. And then you wanna add four cups of chicken broth. You can either do a 32 ounce container, or in my case, I'm using four teaspoons of chicken bouillon and four cups of water. And then I sliced up two pretty large chicken breasts and plopped those right in there. And that's gonna be that for this meal. So all of the seasoning and all the flavor is actually gonna come from the combination of the chicken broth and the Nor pasta sides. And when this comes out and when it's done, we're gonna have a pasta and chicken dish that is absolutely phenomenal with lots of flavor without having to even go in that spice cabinet. Now this may vary by crock pot, but I cooked mine on low for four hours and it was perfectly cooked, delicious and tender. It may not be the most beautiful thing in the entire world. It's kind of like this chicken macaroni and cheese delicious bomb of flavor, uh, but it is so good. And like I said, that chicken is so tender. So probably depends on your crock pot, but mine uh, with chicken, I always try and go low for four hours and that's how it turns out perfectly, not dry and not overcooked. I hope you're feeling super cozy and inspired for fall after watching these crock pot meals. Make sure to go check out Tiffany's video over at Small Town 6. I will have that in the description box below for you. She is making some cozy meals as well that I know you're going to love. Thank you for watching today. Make sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're coming over from Tiffany's channel, I am so happy you're here. I hope that you subscribe and that we can be lifelong friends. I'll see you all very soon. Like you.